Traffic is back to normal along the 52, but that wasn't the case for hours this morning. At least three people were hurt in a multi-car pileup and fiery inferno near Santo Road. It happened right in the heart of the morning rush. CBS News 8's Gene King is live in Tierra Santa with what we've learned about the crash. Gene. Good morning, Dan and Michelle. Well, this accident had a huge impact on traffic. The devastating crash sent three people to the hospital after a pileup here on the 52 in Tierra Santa. And as of right now, we know it caused explosions, according to CHP. As you take a closer look, this is video from the aerial view, Chopper 8. It shows that fiery crash during rush hour with traffic backed up on the eastbound 52 on Santo Road, where we are live. CHP says a Ford F-150 pickup truck slammed into the back of a semi truck at freeway speeds and spun around. That caused a chain reaction as a black pickup truck T-boned the F-150. A Buick sedan rear-ended the black pickup. For nearly three hours, the eastbound lanes of the 52 were reduced to one lane. Paramedics rushed three drivers to the hospital. The driver of the F-150 had serious injuries to his shoulder. We're told that he had fractures. CHP says it's too early to tell who caused the accident, but this is a reminder for every driver to pay more attention when you're on the roads. Traffic collisions are 100% preventable, so pay attention to your driving, slow down, look beyond uh, the vehicle in front of you, maintain a safe distance, and uh, maintain a high visual horizon. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and don't put on your makeup either. I mean, that's, that could potentially be uh, distracting. There were a series of explosions from that crash. The vehicles were towed away on flatbed trucks. You see the aftermath. The F-150 is a total oh. loss. Back out here live, as you see, that has been since cleaned up. That was at about 8 o'clock this morning. Everything is back to normal. Coming up at 11.30, we're going to continue our look into the investigation and the conditions of those drivers. That update coming up. Back to you, Dan and Michelle.